Hi guys, uh, welcome to the video on circular motion. Um, our topic today is radian measure. We're working with the uh, fundamental applied maths, chapter eleven point one, um, circular motion and radian measure. Uh, so we're going to start off with just a discussion of what one radian is. Um, so a radian is the arc subtended, excuse me, it's the angle subtended by an arc, so this angle here, by an arc that is the same length as the radius. Okay, so that's one radian that I've just marked off there. Uh, you can see here with this little piece of paper is one radius length. Actually, I'll color that in so you can see it. Okay, that's one radius, and if I was to mark it around the outside here, it's the same length here. Okay, so let's see if we can see that. Okay, so you can see it's approximately the same. You might trust me that it is the same. And uh, if we measure around, we can see here's another radius length. I have it marked already. Third radius length along here. Uh, so the question you might ask is how many radians is there in a full circle? Well, there's uh, four. There's five radians, so six radians, and a bit, okay? So that might be a bit unsatisfying, but there are uh, six, that's about a 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Um, I actually, uh, I know it to be, there are 6.28 radians, which is one turn. Okay, uh, the reason I know that, you might recognize that number as twice pi. Okay, where pi is roughly 3.14. Okay, so um, 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. Uh, pi radians, quite commonly, I'll use this uh, throughout the section, uh, sorry, throughout the chapter, uh, just as a, if you're not so hot on radians, just for conversions. Uh, pi radians are 180 degrees, and there are 2 pi radians in one full circle, okay? Um, that leads us to a relationship. Uh, if that's the radius there, um, the arc that you subtend could be any section of it. Okay, but that angle that I'm subtending here, I'm going to call it theta again, actually, just because the formula usually works with theta, uh, is given by, in radians, it's whatever that arc length is, divided by the radius of the circle. Okay, so there's our um, relationship between arc length, radius, and angle subtended. So angle subtended, this is the arc length here, um, and the radius. Uh, so with that in mind, we should be able to go and do all of these questions on page 191. Question 1, part 1 and 3, 2 parts 1 and 3, question 5, uh, 7 and 9. So question 1 says, a circle has radius 20 centimeters. Find in radians the angle subtended by an arc of length. Uh, 40 centimeters and then 15 centimeters. Those are the two I'm going to do. Uh, so circle has radius 20 centimeters. Okay, so there's 20. And if you subtend an arc of 40 centimeters, well, that's two radius lengths. So you can say that's two radians. Using a formula, theta is s over r. Well, it's 40 divided by 20. And the answer is two radians. Uh, you don't actually have to write in rad for radians. It's what we call a dimensionless unit. If you look here, centimeters over centimeters cancel. Uh, but we normally, or we often write in rad just to show that we're working in radians. For the second one, if it's a 15 centimeter arc, so it's a shorter arc now, it's less than one radian. You can see um, 15 is less than 20. 15 over 20, it's 0 0.75 radians. Um, question two, if the circle has radius five, find the length of the arcs would subtend angles of magnitude three radians or 1.2 radians. Okay, so this time we're told the circle has a radius five, um, and the angle is three radians. Okay, so hopefully you can see that means that needs to be three fives, okay? So it's 15. Uh, rejigging that formula, arc length is r theta. So that's what we're using here. Uh, arc length is 5 times 3, 15 centimeters. 
okay, because three radians corresponds to three radius lengths. Uh, here, arc length is five times 1.2, and that's going to be six centimeters. Uh, question five says, a particle moves along the circumference of a circle of radius 10 centimeters. If the speed of the particle is 18 centimeters per second, find its angular speed. So the concept of angular speed we'll discuss now. Uh, if this particle every second covers 18 centimeters, and it's a 10 centimeter radius, then the angle it subtends every second is 18 centimeters divided by 10, uh, 1.8 radians. Its angular speed, therefore, omega is what we use for angular speed, is 1.8 radians per second. Okay, uh, now a more direct approach here, omega is uh, linear speed v over the radius r, so 18 centimeters per second over 10 centimeters, and again, 1.8 centimeters per second. Um, question seven says a single vinyl record from your grandfather's collection, so we've all seen a record I'm sure, uh, completes 45 revolutions per minute. Uh, what is its angular speed correct in one decimal place? Okay, so what you're talking about here is a spinning disc and you're saying it's rotating 45 times per minute. Okay, so it's doing 45 rotations, 45 RPM. Okay, well, what's that? In radians, uh, one rotation is 2 pi. Okay, so for this one, it's doing 45 rotations every 60 seconds. That's going to be 45 multiplied by 2 pi over 60, which is 90 pi over 60. Zeros cancel. Uh, 3 and a 2 there, we're left with 3 pi over 2. Uh, radians per second, that's seconds. Uh, so it's angular speed to the nearest decimal place, three, oh, excuse me, uh, it's angular speed to the nearest decimal place, it's gonna be three pi over two is, oh dear, no, my calculator is working. Oh, this one is working. Sorry about this, uh, 3 pi over 2. So its angular speed is 4.71 uh, radians per second. Um, that's question 7. The last question, then question 9, is similar enough. Uh, enter the modern era. Uh, CD is spinning at 200 rotations per minute, what is its angular speed in radians per second? So again, I'm going to say 200 rotations, well that's the same as 200 multiplied by um, 2 pi is one rotation, and every minute is every 60 seconds. Okay, so that's going to leave us with 40 pi Oh, we can even cancel a 2 out of that and leave us with 3. So 20 pi over 3, which, um, let's go back to my dodgy calculator, uh, 20, oh, 20 pi over 3, 20.94 radians per second. second. Okay, so a lot faster than your record. Okay, um, I'm going to ask you to finish exercise 11a. I think I called it 11.1 .1 there at the start of the uh, video. And I'll see you in the next video.